What school is poppin'? It's your girl Z, also known as Baby Girl Z. I'm back on with another video. Little baby in a bag in a Birkin. No, not a five, but the working. Flaws and all, I love them all. I'm be a perfect baby girl. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. You got it, girl. But today's video, as you're about to turn, I'll be showing y'all guys how to make lip gloss from home. I'll be doing clear lip gloss, and I'm about to show y'all my ingredients. So what you need, what you need is some cooking oil, vegetable oil, whatever you can find, any type of oil, basically. This is 100% like digestive. I don't even know if I said it right. But like you can digest this, you can cook with it, and you can eat the chicken after like you cook with it. So yeah, this is what you need. 100% uh, extra virgin oil. It says you can get this from Save a Lot. So I guess... Yeah, this is very cheap, okay? So, yeah, that's that. Next, what you need is some flavoring essential oil. Any kind you need, you know, give it a... I don't, like, I don't know why people say it's a flavoring when it's really a scent. Like, it does not taste like lavender. It does not taste like oranges. It smells like it. So, I don't know why is it, like, flavored or whatever. And this one I'll be using is lavender scented. Next ingredient is sheet butter. This is, like, just a brick of butter. So, yeah. Next, what I have is my Versa gel in my little five gram container jar. Jar, okay. Next, what I have is my syringe. Now, let me tell y'all something, y'all. For all my lip gloss makers out there, or whoever, or whoever wants to make lip gloss, you don't need to wash your stuff. Period. You don't need to wash your stuff if you make a lip gloss. If you're gonna re, like, if you're gonna remake lip gloss, you need to wash your stuff. Okay. It's the clean, cleanliest, whatever the fuck that word is. Cleanly, cleanly. Clean, clean, whatever the fuck. <laughs> I'm weak. But, like, for real, for real, like, on some serious note, like, you really don't need to wash it. Inside here is not dirty at all. Um, this may be dirty. You just need to change that off. But, like, real talk, you don't need to wash your stuff, like, at all. Period. Period. Okay. Um, I got one of my little tubes right here. You don't need to wash your tubes either. Either. Before y'all come check me. You don't need to wash none of your tubes, basically, because it's not dirty. I don't see nothing up in here, so it's not dirty. Period. It's not dirty, so you don't need to wash nothing. So you can just buy it from China, buy it from the China vendors. You don't need to wash nothing because it's not dirty, okay? Um, You could just get any spoon to, like, mix your stuff up together. I ate with this spoon, like, just a few minutes ago, so, yeah, you just get that. This one is reusable, and I reuse it a lot, so... Yeah, that's that. These are some more. And it's my little bowl. I'll be mixing everything in. These are my little scissors that I'll be using. It's, it's crooked though, like, to be honest, it's crooked. But who cares? Now, before I jump into the video, I'm trying to go click the first thing below, because you be your alley.com. Go ahead and lashes, lip glosses, outfits, and etc. So do not forget to like, comment, if you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Okay? Because I'll be dropping videos back to back to back, and you know I need my little money. So watch my ass. Watch my ass to the end. Do not skip my ass because I need it. I need money. Period. Period. Next thing you need is some gloves. I did not wash my hands after, like, you know, before putting this on because why wash my hands if I'm going to put on some gloves? Like, it's still clean. I should leave my hair down because you don't need to put in no point until it's still clean. Um, I don't think my hair going to fall out in my lip gloss. But anyways, I'm going to leave my hair down. And I'm just going to jump right into this video. So what I'm going to do is just take some of this, you know, sheet butter. Take some of this sheet butter. Mm, okay. Okay, I'm going to take some sheet butter. Take my little spoon that I ate with. Scoop some butter out of there. Come on, come on. I'm gonna put a little bit more because this butter is good. Okay. I was, I was just playing y'all. It did not get them on my it went on the floor. Okay, that's enough for that. Next I'm just gonna do is put some of this lavender stuff up in it. Oh, that smells so good like this. Mm-hmm. Okay. Take all this lavender, put it up in here. Oh, this smells so good. Mm. 
like okay you can put as much as like fragrance stuff as you need because you know you want yourself smelling bomb especially if you're gonna sell it to people you need it smelling really good so yeah i'm gonna add one more one more that okay like you need your stuff smelling good so it could last forever on their lips next what i have is some extra virgin olive oil that you cook with like i said before you can use this okay um yeah you just like oh it's thick too what the fuck Anyways, um, this is 100% safe for your lips. If it's safe to go inside your body, if it's safe to get on chicken, it's safe to eat with. Like I said. So if it's safe to go in your body, then you can put it on your lips. Okay. Just add a lot of it. You want you don't want to add too much, but you need to add enough because it's a very good oil. But you don't want to add too much because it's gonna like change the color. You know, it's gonna change it, to, like give it your clear gloss, like a little tint. Yeah, I should have melted this first. Like you can melt this, but I'm not gonna melt mine, okay? Now this is my Versa gel. And if you wanna buy these ingredients or like, you know, get these ingredients from somewhere, then you could just click the links below. It's gonna be my description. Cause I'm an entrepreneur and I would like to help a lot of people, okay? So, so yeah this is what it looks like mm, yeah that looks really good <laughs> i like mine's lumpy god if it's not lumpy you ain't doing it right now if you're gonna do it the easy way put it in the microwave that's like the easy way i feel like no So what you gotta keep doing is just stirring down and keep pressing the butter like you know with the spoon so you know it just breaks down because you can see a whole bunch of you know things of butter in it so you just keep doing that it's the best way it's better than putting it in a microwave so just keep doing that Look how good this looks already. And it smells bomb. Mmm, that smells so good. Yeah, it smells good. I feel like measuring is doing too much because basically if you know how much stuff you put inside your glass, like how much they each all you put in your stuff, you don't need to measure your stuff. That's just doing too much. So you could just like wink it like I do. And boy, that's basically what you would do. And this is how it looks. Um, you don't you don't need to mash up the butter like too much because when you put it inside the lip gloss, it's just gonna you know melt itself. Because you know how if you sell this and your customers have it and they put it in their car and you know it's hot, it's gonna melt itself. So basically, you don't need to like you know mush it all the way up or put it in the microwave. So you just leave it like that. But you need to mush it up like small enough to put it up in here. So this is how the lip gloss looks. The best. Of a period. What you could do is just take your little scissors. The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? The fuck? Or you don't even need to take that off, okay? It's still clean. Okay. Now I'm, now I'm just about to fill up my tube. You just take a little spoon, take a handful, and put it up in here. Now look how sexy this looks. Look too good. Shove it up in there. I don't know why I made this much knowing I'm just gonna make one tube full of this. And this is how it looks. I just take this. Put it up in here. Oh, look, it's all coming. Oh, shoot. Okay, it's coming out from that side, too. You just take all the orange out of there. 
when you go like this all the orange stuff come out you don't have to wash your hands you don't have to like take off your gloves and put on some new ones it's perfectly fine see all the oil and stuff it's perfectly fine just take that put it up in here uh, and just fill it up You know, you gotta fill it up all the way because if you're not filled up all the way, your customers could get mad at you. And there you go. That's how it looks. Now you can see like the little pieces of butter that is up in this lip gloss. But that's perfectly fine. You don't even need to mush it up all the way. It's perfectly fine the way it is. Next you gotta do, take your little stopper, put it, you gotta like just push it inside of here like that and that's how it looks and you don't even have to clean it right here it looks kind of you know used but you don't have to clean it or whatever it could just be oily like that just put on the cap put on the cap and there we go that is the finishing look now to wash your tubes you have to put some water inside of like a little container our bowl next you gotta do is like take some oil put a little bit of oil up in there and you just gotta like mix it up after i've done mix it all up i then just take my tube and drop it up in there leave it up in there for like 30 minutes to an hour the reason why I say leave it up in some oil is because once you take it out and wipe it off, it's going to be so shiny. Like the tubes going to be shiny and that's what you basically need. You want your tubes and like, you know, your presentation to be really nice. Now if you want, you could also add some um, fragrance oil to it so your tubes itself can smell really good. It's been in there for like 30 minutes you just take it out move that over there you take a little towel you wipe it off now there we go now that is how you officially make lip gloss and i'm just gonna try it on now this lip gloss right here is called forever slam that was the end of today's video by the way i would like to tell y'all this video was for entertainment purposes only all it is is what you do not do you do not scratch your head while you're doing this you're supposed to pin your hair back while making lip gloss you're not supposed to repeat you're not supposed to use cooking oil in your lip gloss just not do that by the way i just over exaggerated with my eyelashes and my eyebrows this is not how I actually do my eyebrows. It's really not. Okay, I just, this video was for entertainment purposes only, so do not get offended. I'll try to like do something different. I feel like nobody else has done this type of video before. Um, I will look it up if anybody else has done it before, but I'm not gonna claim that position, but I feel like I'm the first one to do this. A lot of people also do parodies or, you know, do something different, but I don't feel like nobody else, like, you know, young entrepreneurs has ever done this type of video before if you enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up if you did not enjoy the video also give me a thumbs up because like you know i tried to make you laugh i tried to like give you some helpful advice but if, like for real for real if you want to learn how to make lip gloss like for real for real check out my other videos if you know if you want to know how to wash syringes properly check out my other videos i have some nice good info to give y'all like i said before do not forget to click the first thing below called dbootedalice.com and like you know copy some merch Especially some diesel suede shirts and, you know, rep it out for me in y'all city. Do not forget to like, comment. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button and I'm out. Peace.